Um, just some overall observations. Uh, um, I liked our energy again. I, um, I thought uh, even the guys that weren't necessarily playing um, were into the game. Uh, that's encouraging. Um, look, you can pick any number, and it's going to kind of give you the stat line. When you score on defense, you're, you're going to have some success. I think we had two takeaways. We protected the ball. Um, so overall, I was pleased with how we finished this preseason. We'll get a lot of look, a lot of film look on some guys, um, and then we begin that process the next two days um, relative to the roster. Yeah, Sean. Um, Stidham, one drive and a touchdown. Uh, Zach had four scores with three touchdowns. Both those guys look good. I was going to say, how do you uh, go about? To, will there be a lot of discussion, debate, um, evaluation? Yeah, look, listen, that... there'll be discussion on all these guys, but uh, those guys both look good. Um, do you have an update on uh, Damari Mathis? And no, I think uh, the, I do. Uh, the images were real positive, so I don't think it's anything significant. Um, that's that's good news. What's the timing on those? Just at this point? I have no timing. I wouldn't give them to you either. Coach, you talked about how winning is a habit, and you've got to build that in the preseason, especially with a young group. How important is it to kind of have built Look, that? Look, I, I said it to him afterwards. I, you know, um, don't ever get tired of how it feels. You know, to to win, and and granted, we're su substituting groups, and we're needing to get different groups evaluated, and yet we still want to win. Um, and I felt the energy. I think anybody who was on the sidelines. Uh, that part of it's encouraging. You know, I, um, the guys that aren't in recognize how important it is for the guys that are in, and uh, that's what you want from your team. Sean, kind of a more philosophical question: When you have veterans that you may be releasing in, in any given year, do you try to get th those guys, you know, noticed sooner so that either there's a trade or so they can hit the street and maybe have a chance to get on someone's 53? Does that no, factor? No, I don't think today, tonight, tomorrow morning change. The, the league's plenty smart enough to. Um, it's never easy, this process, and uh, it is what it is. Um, I've been in it myself a number of times, formally as a player. I can remember being real naive up in one team thinking they were going to start me. And I went in and I got cut and I couldn't believe it. Um, I think that, um, look, you, you have the 53, you have the practice squad. There, there's, um, there's paths for decisions. And part of it is managing the roster. So George and I have met well, the better part of the last couple of weeks, each week relative to where we're at with certain decisions. Uh, I think we have a good handle on it. In terms of that, how much strategy goes into when you think who you, who you can get down to the practice squad and who might get picked up? That's managing the roster. That, that when I use that term. Coach, what did Zach do well today in your mind? And will finances play a role in all the decision with the? No, quarterback I just heard it on the radio. We're not. No. No, we've got enough money to. Um, I, I understand the question. Um, we feel comfortable with those three quarterbacks. I think I've told you already, I see the three of them making it. All right, so, all right, back to the first question. Um, look, I, we, we had some impressive throws. The one, the one shot play, you know, in the hole to Brandon, and then, I mean, he's got a live arm down the field. I thought um, he threw it away when it wasn't there. There were a couple sacks, but overall, we, you know, we moved the ball. You're trying to measure, hey, how's the offense doing when he's in there? Um, man, plenty of time on the play clock, enough time to get in and out of plays if we need be. And I think, you know, he's had the better part of the last two and a half weeks, really. I mean, you guys have seen his practices. Coach, what do these next 48 hours for you look like? And how much time is spent on your roster compared to other available players that might be out there? Um, yeah, meetings in the morning, players come in then, tape, um, meetings again with George. Um, there may or may not be some early uh, waivers. And then Tuesday by two. So a lot of tape. And then 
to the second part of your question, there's projected cuts from each team, and but our ability to look, I, I, I think um, paying attention to that wire is important, and we've historically had success. That's where we found Taysom Hill. You know, midnight, 1.30 in the morning, whatever time it was, we're looking at one player and you start looking at something. So hopefully we've got a good area or good foundation relative to, you know, who it is that comes available. And, and there's, there's a handful of positions we might have more of an interest in if they were to unfold that way. So that's a lot in a short period of time. I, I, I understand that. But if we're doing our homework correctly, um, we should be on top of that. Uh, coach, uh, both Lavelle and Justin made some plays today at inside linebacker. Just as a whole, how would you assess that competition this summer? Um, well, there's been three of them all competing, you know, and uh, there, there's been some ups and downs. I, I think overall, um, you know, those guys have been grinding. I grabbed Lavelle. I, I thought he had a, two bad plays and, and kind of got on him. And, and then, he, of course, he ends up with the interception. I, I think those guys have been competing. They're, they're, they're playing well in, in the kicking game. I think instinctually they have to come along a little bit more. Coach, is there anything uh, – oh, sorry, Sean, over here. <laughs> is there anything in particular that surprised you specifically about this preseason, or did things more or less go the way that you expected? Well, things never go how you expect overall. I, I, um, did anything surprise me during the preseason? Um, I don't know if there were any surprises. Uh, I, I would say I'm encouraged um, with the, not only the rookie class relative to the draft picks, but some of the new players that came in that were signed in free agency. And then overall, the makeup and chemistry of this team, um, I would say it's entirely different from a year ago. And so that's not a surprise, but it's something you notice, you feel, um, and that's encouraging. Sean, uh, Brandon Johnson sure picked a good time to have his, I guess, best performance of the preseason. What have you seen from him? Because it seems like he just finds the end zone year after year. Yeah, I, listen, I, I can't – I mean, I, I was encouraged. I thought he did a great job. You know, he made some big plays. He's a big target. He, he's, he's a great worker. Um, and, you know, again, one of those guys, it was great to see him have some opportunities. Um, a lot of those guys stepped up. Virgil had some – Key, key receptions, Bandy's had a good camp. I mean, um, we knew it at the start of training camp that that position group was deep. And then I think you all got to see actually how deep it was. Um, there's some tough decisions there. Was Brandon Jones, uh, was he going to play? I no. mean, he was, he was out nope. there. He was never going to play. Nope. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys.